We were just a bunch of nerdy kids who ignored the haters. We took their ridicule and we built on it. And when some of us gave up, well, we built on that too. Built resilience, built on a mission to make things a little better every day until the users came. Then the haters were VCs who scoffed at our audacity. This just isn't the way things are done. But we kept building. Users turned into teams, turned into companies, running their entire businesses on our apps. Then the software giants came after us. We weren't proven, we weren't fully featured, our radical cloud model wasn't secure. But we built on. And today, as companies adopt the cloud to move faster, teams are finding themselves slowed down by each other's efforts. The skeptics are claiming we'll never develop innovation at scale. But now, DevOps have come to the cloud, ushering in a new era of transformation. Companies can release on-demand across hundreds of environments, innovating faster with fewer conflicts and fewer disruptions. There will always be challenges. There will always be naysayers. And we'll build on. Thanks again for joining and uh, for joining our talk, Cutting Costs Without Compromising Quality, Productivity, and Security. Uh, my name is Jill Harani, and I'm your host, and I have three amazing panel uh, members with me, some of my favorite people. Uh, I have Jennifer, co-founder and CEO of Metazoa, Lena Hofer, a Salesforce MVP Hall of Famer, you all might know her, and Senior Manager of Salesforce Operations at A-Line and Sep September Heim. Am I saying that right, September? You are, yeah. All right, <laughs> the VP of Professional Services at Propel PLM. So thank you all for being here. Um, I would love it if you guys would just maybe give a little intro of yourself, your role, your company. So uh, Lena, let's start with you. Sure. I'm Lena Hofer, the Senior Manager of Salesforce Operations at Align. And for those of you that don't know, Align is a security and compliance partner that helps companies take a strategic approach to compliance so that they can competently mitigate these cybersecurity risks. And the line helps businesses elevate and reach the summit of their potential. So that's why there's mountains behind me and our employees are called climbers. And I manage a team of Salesforce admins and our responsibility is to be sure that all of the aligned climbers who use Salesforce trained and educated on how to best use the system and the data that's in it. So solving complicated business problems and automating as many manual processes as possible are really key components of what we do. We deliver creative solutions that make our coworkers' jobs easier and hopefully makes the business smarter. So uh, we love helping our fellow climbers be more efficient and be on top of things. Excellent. Thank you. How about you, September? Sure. I'm September High, I'm VP of Professional Services for, for Propel PLM. PLM means Product Lifecycle Management. So our company, um, we are a Salesforce partner. We have a Salesforce application that helps engineers and companies that make hardware products like ventilators, for example. So our product stores the parts, the bills of material, the drawings, the manufacturing instructions for um, electronic and medical device products. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, Jennifer. Hi, I'm Jennifer Mercer. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Metazoa. And uh, we provide a, a comprehensive, complete org management solution uh, with our product Snapshot. And uh, we allow uh, Salesforce admins and developers to fully understand, maintain, and manage their Salesforce orgs. And really our mission is to uh, allow our users to streamline their processes such as release management, uh, data migration, uh, reduce technical debt, all while saving precious time and money and while not compromising uh, security or, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, <laughs> the title of our talk here, uh, security and compliance. Sorry, um, but I love I love uh, talks like this and sessions like this because we're always trying to learn more from our users and learn what uh, our admins and developers are dealing with on a daily basis um, and how we can implement new features or uh, put something on our product roadmap. Frankly, that can make their life easier. I mean, they have a very demanding role, obviously, as managing these entire orgs for their organization. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thanks. Thanks for the intros. Um, 
So I wanted to start this conversation off with obviously a very hot topic right now, COVID-19. Uh, I think, you know, people are very anxious right now and, you know, not really certain about how uh, the economy is going to be and what lies ahead. And I think what we are certain about is that there will be definitely long lasting effects on how we do business now. So I wanted to ask each one of you how you're seeing COVID affect your business. Maybe there's a refocus, maybe there's things that you're having to deal with that you haven't had to deal with before. Um, so just what, what are you seeing right now? Jennifer, why don't you start? Sure. And, and I do want to also uh, thank the organizers for putting this on. I mean, what a timely, yeah. you know, event for what everybody is going through. And so lots of learnings to be had over the next 24 <coughs> hours. Um, but I would say, first of all, I, I would assume that everybody is thinking about this, but customer success right now, uh, taking care of our customers. Uh, customer success has always been uh, the utmost importance for Metazoa, but I think right now it's just a really critical need. Um, we have, uh, we're seeing our enterprise customers evaluating their digital transformation strategies, some for the very first time. And so we're really trying to make sure that we have the additional time and resources available with uh, personalized training and ongoing support. We really, really want to help them get up and running as quickly as possible. Um, so, you know, it's also a time for us personally to take a step back, evaluate our product. Um, as I said before, talk to our customers, talk to our users. And with the time changing so rapidly, really try to understand their ongoing needs and their ever-changing needs. And try to, uh, you know, make sure that we're able to implement those features as quickly as possible. Um, you know, Snapshot's always been about helping admins and developers save time and money. Um, you know, that's been our purpose. Um, it's made for remote work. Uh, we take a holistic approach to Salesforce orgs so that uh, with visual layouts, um, a user can understand the entire state of the org. They can document the entire state of their org. Uh, when they have upcoming releases or org merge or, or splits, um, we have, um, we're, they're able to, uh, you know, know, understand what their metadata is, what they're moving from sandbox to production. And we have, uh, you know, preset templates for things like CPQ. So data migration is really easy and really fast for them. And, you know, what used to take days and weeks can, you know, take an hour now. And we hear that from our users all the time. And, um, and so, uh, I would say just really focusing on that more than anything. And, and one other unfortunate um, incident that might happen during this time is reduced team members, but not a reduced workload. So how can we make them even more efficient, get them online, get things automated, streamline processes? So I think we're really focused on that right now. Yeah, that's very true. That actually can be a reality for companies and Snapshot certainly does help with productivity. Um, so September, what about Propel? So uh, we're, we're a software company. As I mentioned, we, um, we sell a Salesforce application uh, for engineers um, and electronics and medical device companies who are making products. As ourselves at Propel, because we're a software company, we're doing fine. The transition to working from home um, is fine. We've got internal productivity tools, but we found among our customer base, they're not doing as fine. Um, we're finding that customers are um, higher anxiety, less self-sufficient, less productive, and customer retention is key to us as a software company. I mean, we are a subscription service, and so we really need these customers to be happy, and we need them to renew. Um, we have a really configuration intensive product. And so in the past, a customer might contact our support department and say, hey, I'm having trouble with a page layout. I can't quite get it right, or I don't know how to, how, how to get it right. Um, can you help me? And we would simply send them an article that says, well, here's how to do it totally different now because we are so focused on customer retention. We're saying, oh, let us do it for you or let us rebuild that process builder for you. We use Metazoa Snapshot because we need to move configurations around so frequently. And, and now we're able to say, hey, customer, let us do this for you. And we can do it very quickly because we have Metazoa Snapshot as a tool to help us. Awesome. Um... Yeah, that is going to be a common theme right now. Uh, customer focus and retention, I think, is huge. Um, what about you, Lena? What have you seen? 
Yeah, so the process of maintaining compliance across leading frameworks is something that doesn't go away just because COVID-19 is here. And it's always a challenging task, but um, COVID has actually added a, a new layer of complexity. So um, we've been taking steps that align to ensure the well-being of both our employees and our clients. We use remote audit techniques when possible. We've minimized travel to ensure safety and wellness. And uh, we're working with each client on whatever their unique circumstance is to minimize disruptions for them. And much like September, um, my team has always worked remotely. So our world personally hasn't changed a great deal. Mm -hmm. However, the rest of the aligned climbers that are working remotely um, maybe haven't in the past. So our biggest challenge in the Salesforce operations department is to be even more efficient with meetings and our interactions since we're not getting to hold those meetings in person like we used to. And of course, with being a security and compliance company, Align is always concerned with security in everything we do. So that includes the tools that we use to do our jobs. Awesome. Yeah, I, I actually went, uh, listened in on a, um, a session and it was kind of about the fact that security is going to be huge, obviously right now, and, and the tools that are survive are gonna be tools that provide security, collaboration, and obviously a big ROI. So uh, yeah. Um, so Jennifer, why don't you talk a little bit about how Snap Snapshot um, reassures the enterprise that sensitive data and metadata remain secure while teams are working remotely? Yeah, I, I mean, I think that's definitely um, a, a concern that uh, these enterprises have, especially if they have teams that are working remotely for the first time, um, really trying to understand that. But, but honestly, it's the same way that we've always reassured them. Um, we... Uh, uh, one of our top three, I would say, selling points is that we never move your data or metadata to a third-party server ever. Um, as you all know, that working with metadata requires administrative credentials, and um, if those are stored in the cloud, it's there's just always a possibility of a, a, a data breach. And um, I mean, it happens too frequently, unfortunately, and especially in this climate. So Snapshot was architected in that way for that purpose. I mean, we, we work with Salesforce's largest orgs, uh, Fortune 100, Fortune 500, uh, healthcare, financial, government, education. And so this has always been critical. And the way Snapshot works is uh, you, you, you work with Snapshot. Your Snapshot works directly with your org, directly. We are not in between. So uh, it, it's a client application. And we, uh, there's, no, there's no risk of a data breach because we don't have your data. Uh, there's no risk of us losing your admin creden credentials because we don't have them either. So it's very secure. And I think our customers, most of them know this anyways, whether they're in the office or working remotely. So it hasn't really come up as been too much of a challenge for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and well, since we're on the subject so much of Snapshot, um, Lena in September, what, what were some of the challenges you faced uh, managing your orgs or, you know, working with um, your orgs before you found Snapshot. Uh, Lena, let's start with you. Yeah. Um, I've only been at a line for a short period of time, just over seven months, I think. And I actually brought Snapshot with me. I had discovered it um, while working at my last company. I had inherited a legacy org and all orgs over time suffer from OCD. Yes. <laughs> orgs <laughs> have <to be> disorder. <laughs> Um, I learned that term from you guys, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what it means is that over time, orgs get unmanageably complex. Um, that could be because you've had multiple admins, you've had poor release management, new functionality has come in or processes that have replaced what has been built in the past or any combination of those things, really. And typically, admins just don't make time to deprecate the old fields, the objects, the workflows, all the other things that have been put in place. And your org could really quickly get away from it. So technical debt is something you've got to continuously stay on top of, or you're going to have an org that has performance issues, it's poorly adopted, it quite frankly is a nightmare to maintain. Yeah, we, we hear that from a lot of admins, which is why we sort of coined the term org management solution, because it really does cover all aspects of your org. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's great. Uh, September, what were some of your challenges? 
Oh, okay. So first of all, you have to not laugh at me for what I'm going to tell you, because I feel like at the beginning, our company was new and we were so naive. All we knew about was change sets. We knew how to move configurations from sandbox to production using a change set, but that's not really our use case. We're a software company and we're selling software to um, either customers who don't have Salesforce already or customers who do have Salesforce. And so we need to install our managed package in their org. That's easy. But then we need, need to move over a tremendously complex configuration into their org. And we literally didn't have any tools to do this and didn't know that there were any tools on the market. So we would, if we, if we sold to a new customer and we had to move our complex configuration, we would literally just grab the newest person on our team and say, hey, new guy, I need you to chain yourself to your chair for two or three days, and I need you to copy this configuration into this new org. It's going to be super fun. And, you know, three days later, it was not super fun. And we did this over and over and over again because we literally didn't know there was a tool to help us. So we discovered Snapshot one day, just, just Googling because we were so desperate. Um, we, we bought it. It was low cost, high productivity, instant ROI. Now we um, have a template in Snapshot. We've, we've um, stored, our, we've backed up our org in the Snapshot and now we can just deploy it into our customers' orgs whenever we need to. Super fast, super efficient. Nobody gets carpal tunnel from clicking so much. It's, it's been a, a game changer for us. And I, I think, I don't know if it was for everyone, but there was some time that was cut off a bit while you were talking. Um, oh. I don't know if that was for everybody. Was I didn't, it? no. Not at all. Okay. okay, good. It was just me. <laughs> okay. Um, well, that's good. So, so tell me then how, how you're both using Snapshot and how does, um, how does it help your productivity and cost savings? Uh, Lena, let's, let's have you answer that. Uh, at my last company, End of the Line, I've implemented what we call Operation Audit, which is a project where we create a full data dictionary on every object in our org at least once a year. And we analyze what fields, what pick list values, what record types, page layouts, everything that are no longer being used and can be deprecated. And we also ensure that every single field, and I mean every single field, has a description or help text and or help text. <laughs> I always say that, uh, you know, if I win the lottery and I tomorrow and I never come back into work again, I want the next admin that comes in to know exactly why each field was created and what purpose it served. So, um, so that's really important to us to know which yes. fields don't have those on them. And finally, we determine uh, which objects might need optimization, enhancement, or deletion. So by integrating Snapshot into this core housekeeping effort, we've really been able to save an untold amount of work for myself and for my staff, as well as increase the power of the data that we can collect. Um, the data dictionaries and the analysis that we were doing in the past were mostly a manual effort before we discovered Snapshot. Um, we would use some of the free tools from the App Exchange to assist us, um, but none of them really, none of them could do a comprehensive um, look for us. We found ourselves spending a lot of time piecing together information from various tools so that we get a true picture of each Salesforce object. And what Snapshot has allowed us to do is to automate a large, large portion of that data, data, data dictionary, say that three times fast, <laughs> <laughs> um, to automate a large portion of that data dictionary creation and the analysis. And it's, it's saved us numerous hours, probably days worth of work um, per object. And when you go over the course of the year, it's probably weeks or even months of work that it's saved us. Um, it used to take us probably 15 to 20 hours per data dictionary, the way we were doing it before. And using Snapshot, it, it can take anywhere from an hour to six hours, depending, of course, on the size and the complexity of the object. And since time is money, just think of all that money we're saving. Yeah. Yeah, excellent. Um, that's exactly what Snapshot was designed to do, to help you audit your your org. Um, September, how about you? So I mentioned before that we um, have configuration, huge configurations we need to move when we sell our product to a customer that already has Salesforce. 
Um, and so obviously Metazoa Snapshot is useful for that reason, but um, we also deal with, we are a software company that sells software, and so we have a team of salespeople who maintain several demo orgs each, and so we need to help the sales team as well, not only by moving configurations for them, but we need to move data sets. Like we might have a salesperson come to our team and say, hey, I need to give a demo for an aerospace customer. Can you move the aerospace data from your, you know, your main org into my demo org? So we use another product called Metazoa Monarch to move data sets around. I mean, before we would have to do some pretty complex exports and imports with the data loader and you know, make sure that IDs matched and so on. Um, now we just use Metazoa Monarch, which um, we just say, here is my data set, here are my tables. You figure out all the relationships between the tables and uh, push a button and we're able to move data sets really quickly as well. Awesome. So, so tell me how uh, Snapshot helps reduce time with documenting and understanding your org uh, security. Lena, I'm going to ask you that question because I know that you're a big user. Of yeah, using Snapshot, we do, we look at profiles and permission sets to track down why certain individuals have access to certain areas and then um, decide if that access is needed. And we also use it to compare profiles and permission sets to ensure that if we don't really need them, we're getting rid of the ones that aren't needed. We used to, you know, this is kind of a theme with me, we used to create uh, many of these reports by hand, literally staring and comparing. And that was really time consuming and error prone. I feel like uh, the guy that September was saying, you know, sit down and, doc and do this and that's your whole job for three days. Um, but now that we use that as a snapshot, it automates that process of building those reports. And, then we can look at changes over time and, and really keep things on the right track. And I have to say what Jennifer said earlier about Metazoa always you know, trying to learn more about what their admins and developers are doing with Snapshot and with their other tools um, is 100% true. Your team has asked me for input many times and they've actually taken my advice to combine some of that information that we needed into a single report, which really helped us to not have to continue piecing reports together. So. I know your team loves to get feedback and, and uh, yeah. hope it helps with the roadmap, right? We definitely do. We love getting feedback, so that's great. So, so how are you helping your clients remain agile if they need to quickly pivot um, with rapid development, especially during this time when products need to go to market quickly in response to this global crisis uh, September? Well, I... I can give you kind of a long answer um, that's directly re related to COVID-19. Um, so as you know, we've been concerned in the United States about a shortage of ventilators. And now the concern is, is um, we, we feel like we've gotten things under control a little bit better in the US, but the concern is also global that we just may not have a good ventilator supply. So many of you are familiar with the medical device company Medtronic. Medtronic about six weeks ago in a humanitarian gesture published their design for a particular ventilator that they were building about 10 years ago. They published um, onto a, a website their bills of material, their drawings, their manufacturing instructions, data sheets for individual components. And they put it on a website and you know, the worldwide community quickly um, reacted with some amount of confusion because that data was not really um, in a format that was understandable and accessible. Well, um, organizing engineering data is exactly what Propel, my company, does. And so we quickly spun up a partner community, imported all of that Medtronic data in a format that was easily understandable, easily downloadable, and uh, where users around the world could collaborate on those designs. We quickly spun up that part partner community, and I mean quickly because this is a crisis. We could not have spun up a community that fast with our complex configuration unless we were using Snapshot. We simply um, took our basic configuration from another org, we moved it over into our partner community org, and literally in about a day and a half, we had a partner community up and running. Six weeks later, we have users from all over the world that are downloading this data, manufacturers who are intending to manufacture this Medtronic ventilator. They're logging in from all over the world, and you know, not not only are we um, providing that data into in an easy to use format, but we're actually getting you know some some good feedback on our product as well. 
So without snapshot, we simply could not have reacted as quickly in a crisis. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. That story actually gives me chills. It's kind of, it's interesting. You just, you're working all day and you have no idea that your product is actually doing something, you know, big like that. So helping with something like that. It's, it's amazing that I love that story. So thanks for sharing. Um, so in the face of changing regulatory environments, how are you addressing your customers who have specific compliance requirements, September? Oh, wow. Well, I, I mentioned <laughs> we about a third of our customers are medical device customers, and they have very, very specific compliance requirements for the FDA, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. One of the very heavy-handed requirements is that any software they use um, to help design or build their product, they have to do very formal validation on. Um, so if they use our product, Propel PLM, which is built on Salesforce, they need to, our customers need to write very, very detailed test scripts, run those test scripts, they need to provide full documentation of the configuration. And I'll tell you, this configuration documentation is a pain. Our customers are required to document every permission set and all, every single permission within that permission set, all of the profiles. Um, have, you, have you ever gone into a permission set and, and tried to document it? Oh my gosh, it's so horrible. Um, but finally, we discovered Metazoa Snapshot and there's literally a report that we can run on permission sets and profiles and other configuration elements. So we just press a few buttons and we can get that FDA compliant configuration documentation that we need really, really fast. It's a narrow and very specific example, but it is a huge cost yeah. savings for our customers. Yeah, that's great. Love hearing that. Um, so, so earlier I asked you yeah. all like how you're noticing changes within your organization, um, but why don't we talk a little bit about some of the changes um, that you notice within your community and your customers? Jennifer, why don't you start? Oh, sure. And I just want to say, um, September, that's a specific use case, but it's a very common use case. And we have uh, uh, customers, especially in healthcare, that to be compliant, they, they have to run a report every day. And they're able to do that and they're able to automate it. And so <clears throat> it's kind of a set it and forget it and they're done. It's, it's a great use case, actually. And we have customers that are obviously going through this accelerated digital transformation like many are. And um, I mean, we're talking from brick and mortar or they're just used to being face to face or they're working on hardware. And so how do we help them get up and running really, really fast and get these things automated? So this has caused a huge uptick in our business and our training and onboarding department have never been busier. Um, but, but that's what we're working on with them, <clears throat> helping them automate, helping them get up and running and, uh, again, offering those, uh, support and training resources. And I do want to reiterate really quickly that whether it's our free products or <clears throat> paid for products like Monarch and Snapshot, our training and support is always included and always free. And that includes when you're just trialing a product. So this is not new because of the current climate. This is something that we've always done. We're always there to support our customers. And the other thing we're doing right now is <clears throat> we're implementing more and more teamwork features for remote working and things like uh, metadata notes so you can understand what other deployments are in your system or super admin features so that you can determine who has control over what and that uh, you know prevents issues and creates efficiency which we all need right now and we're going to continue to add those features on so we're talking about things like developer stories and which i maybe shouldn't announce yet but uh things like that, developer stories and all kinds of teamwork features and uh some of these are going to be free so uh we will have an announcement on some of those very soon, so stay tuned, but we're going to continue to evolve the product as the climate evolves and as our uh, customers' needs evolve. That's awesome. I, I use your support and training all the time, which is phenomenal. It's, it's in bite-sized pieces so that I can, you know, just learn what I need to know right at that minute, which is really nice, but I haven't used any of the collaboration features or the teamwork features yet. And, I'm all about collaboration and teamwork, so I'm looking forward to checking those out. Yeah, awesome. um, there's a lot to uh, snapshot, that's for sure. So, um, <laughs> uh, you know, Jennifer, you make a really good point about 
uh, digital transformation. So Timber, I'm wondering how you are helping your clients adjust to dispersed teams and digital digital transformation. Um, well, our customers are having huge challenges right now. As, as I mentioned, our customers are mainly uh, manufacturing hardware products. And so this, the disruption in the global supply chain is just throwing everything in, into chaos. And so our customers are, are disrupted, they're panicked, they need really fast service. So let, let me give you an example. If a customer calls us and says, hey, we used to send out our equipment for calibration and maintenance to a calibration house, like they might have some oscilloscopes or digital multimeters, but they're saying, and we can't send them out to the calibration house because, you know, half of their workers have been sent home, they're not responding, we need to do this calibration in-house. Well, we happen to have in our product um, a module for equipment calibration and maintenance that helps with record keeping and organization. And so if a customer calls us and says, you know, can you can you put that module in my org? I, I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of desperate for this. You know, before we would I would have to schedule somebody. It would take a long time, and now I can say, oh oh yeah, we'll have that done this afternoon for you. Or we have other customers whose supply chains are disrupted, and we're hearing, you know, hey, uh, Propel, you've got a supplier evalu evaluation module. Um, we're going to need to qualify some new suppliers. Can you get that into our org? And, and again, because we we have snapshot ready to go, we can say, yeah, and we'll do, we'll do that for you today. And so we're able to react very, very quickly to some of our customers' needs because we have a robust tool to help us. That's awesome. I love hearing that snapshot contribute to the COVID-related demands. It's so great. Um, so thanks for sharing that. And, and so for a final takeaway, I wanted to ask you both, um, I'm going to start with Lena. Um, what is the number one tip that you would share with admins um, anyone, or anyone managing a Salesforce org? My number one tip for admins, hands down, is to implement some version of operation audit in their org in order to stay on top of your technical debt and optimize your implementations. If your org has been around for more than a year, I guarantee you there's fields, there's objects, there's workflows, page layouts, you name it, that are not being used and they're taking up valuable resources and impeding user adoption. So um, if you've got a tool that's uh, as fancy and as automated as Snapshot by Metazoa, you can implement Operation Audit and sail right on. Excellent. How about you, September? Well, I, mean, I, mean, I, I come from an environment where I'm managing many, many orgs, and I know that's not true for everybody, but any Salesforce environment has at least a sandbox and, and a production environment. And I would just say, you know, make sure that you've got tools that are covering a broad range of needs, because as you know, these orgs are very complex. You need to do quick releases. You need to do security reporting. You need to keep your Salesforce org in, in really tip-top shape, and a tool like Snapshot can help you do that. I mean... We literally at Propel, in, in, we would not be as successful as we are with, without Snapshot. I think I told you the story of what it was like before we knew a tool like this existed, where we would just take the newest person on the team and chain them to their chair and make them do really boring, repetitive tasks. And they would make mistakes, and we had to recover from those mistakes. With a tool like Snapshot, um, we can keep those orgs clean, we can keep the work accurate, and we can respond very, very quickly to our customers' needs. That is, that's great to hear. Love that. Um, so, you know, it, it, we have a couple minutes. I'm not sure if we have some questions. Um, I'm just going to look here and see. I have one here. Just wanted to ask how differently Snapshot is from Lightning Optimizer in terms of cleanup and optimization of org. Mm -hmm. I can take I'd that. I'd be happy to address that too from an admin point oh, of view if you'd like. You, you go. Yeah, you, you can follow up with the with the uh, sales pitch you want, but I'll go from an <laughs> admin point of view. Please. Um, I, use, I use Optimizer Report in conjunction with um, Snapshot. Optimizer kind of tells me which objects are in need of my attention uh, or which dashboards aren't being used or that kind of thing. So it, it gives you at a high level where to zero in, but then Snapshot lets me really dig into those areas. So if it says you've got a, an object with 54 fields that aren't being used and the object is called ABC, I can go run a data dictionary in Snapshot on the ABC object and quickly be able to pinpoint 
not only those 54 fields that aren't being used on a regular basis, but I can see if there's fields without help text or description or that are part of the managed package that we no longer use or, you know, any of those kind of things. Mm -hmm. So I use them in conjunction. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Jennifer, yeah, I was you have just going to say that it was, um, you know, kind of uh, snapshot is, is optimizer on steroids because it, you, I mean, when you have, when you're dealing with hundreds of profiles and permission sets and across different boards and, and you need that, uh, that matrix to really see them all and, and dig in there, uh, it's, it's, it can't really quite do that and as well as the reports and things like that but what's interesting is um one thing we're working on and i wonder what you guys think about this is a dashboard so that when you log in to your snapshot it will show you you know these things need cleaning up these things have been cleaned up this is optimizing more, more quickly this is how much more quickly your org is running now what are your thoughts mm. about that i love that right um, Okay. I'm always trying to show ROI of all the tools that I'm using to my executive team and something like that. I put that together now manually mm -hmm. um, and something like that would help me leaps and bounds. So if you awesome. need a tester, <laughs> yeah, that's I'm moving you. it up to the top of the list. We will let you know. We will have you test that out for sure. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Um, all right. Well, I think we're, um, we're pretty much, I think we've answered the question that we got and I think that's all we have. So I just want to thank everyone so much for joining us and please reach out, find us on LinkedIn or reach out to Metazoa um, if you have any questions at all or anything that you wanted to know. And again, thank you. Have a great day, evening, afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye.